Welcome to the Hollid Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. For today's video, I have an email from a channel member who thought he had the perfect relationship and he never saw this coming. Cheating girlfriend exposed the phone call that broke me. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collection of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. This letter has some excellent lessons for why you've got to get to know your girl and don't rush into marriage or a long-term relationship. You must give it a good four or five years before moving in together before you get married if you are a relationship kind of guy. Dear Magic, you have asked for stories to share. Well, here's mine. I never thought the stuff you do videos on would ever happen to me. I know. Let me give myself a slap to the back of the head. I find myself in a situation that has shaken me. For three years, I've been in what I thought was a good committed relationship with a woman. Let's call her Jezebel. Really? That's not apropos. Who I had planned to propose to on our fourth anniversary this coming Labor Day. Okay. I have always said you want to get to know your girl for a good four to five years. Most people can't pretend that long and sooner or later, they show you who they are. Additionally, you need to get to know her family, their value systems. Always look at her mother, because I promise you, that is who she's gonna turn into. Look at her parents' relationship, because that is the behavior model she will behave with you. What kind of relationship does she have with her father? Does she respect him or not? Are they divorced and mom blames him for everything? Lastly, what kind of woman are her five closest friends? If they are all single or divorced, blue haired, tatted up, nose ring wearing, girl power ideologues, then she is sympathetic to their negative behaviors and beliefs. Sooner or later, they will influence her. You will have a problem. However, life had other plans that left me totally messed up. Last weekend, I went on a hunting trip with my friends, but I had to return home unexpectedly due to a work issue on Monday. Little did I know that this would show me some serious S-H-I-T, leaving me effed up. I got home and I overheard Jezebel on the phone having a conversation that revealed her infidelity. The words she spoke were like stabs to my heart. She described a passionate encounter with a man she met on Tender, praising him as a considerate lover and boasting about his D-size in a manner that was demeaning to me. The cruelty of her words was like, what the F? And I found myself unable to contain my emotions. Okay, let me stop there. Normally, I would give you a slap to the back of the head, but you are suffering enough. Never let a woman see you cry in these situations. I don't care what women say. Most women subconsciously lose attraction for a man and or develop 
even more disrespect for you. Guys, I know he's in shock, but let me tell you something. It's easy to say, and this is where you get out your phone and start recording. Always, always get the evidence first. Lock down those emotions second. Then back up quietly. Don't let them know you're there and go get a grip somewhere. If you have to call a bud and cry to him, fine. Then make a plan of action. He continues. She turned after she was done and saw me and I immediately left, leaving behind what I thought was a good relationship. For the past day, I've been staying at a motel trying to process this betrayal. Jezebel has been relentlessly calling and texting, but I can't bring myself to answer her. The mere thought of her makes me sick. As an only child, my mother's dream of having grandchildren was something I had hoped to fulfill with Jezebel. However, this revelation has left me questioning everything. I know what you're going to say. I have watched enough of your videos and I can hear your voice in my head. Should I grant Jezebel the opportunity to explain herself? Yeah, I know, slap to the back of the head. Yup, since you did that, I won't have to. You know my stance, once a cheater is always a cheater. And frankly, there's nothing here to salvage. Your wisdom and counsel would be invaluable as I figure this crap out. Marcus. First off, I'm so sorry this happened to you, Marcus. I suggest, after you get a grip on the pain, you see this as a blessing that it is. She has finally shown you her true self. Be thankful you didn't marry her. You didn't have any kids, nor do you jointly own a house? This is why I say before you get serious with a woman, put as many assets as you can, real estate and financial accounts, into a trust, an LLC, or some vehicle that removes it as a marital asset. Then on top of that, get a prenup with an adultery and some kind of dead bedroom clause. Fortunately, in your case, this doesn't apply. It can, however, apply to all the other brothers out there who are not married and watching this. Don't leave the hotel. Call your parents, best friends, and tell them what happened. Then, I would control the narrative immediately and send out a group text or social media post tagging her and everyone, including her family, explaining that the relationship is over and that you discovered she was cheating on you on tender, no less. By the way, she probably has been cheating on you for quite some time, and it's come to your attention that some of you who knew her were aware and were covering for her. This will prevent her from making you out to be the bad guy, because it's a certainty she will lie. Then, pre-block her. All her girlfriends and her family. Tell your job she's not welcome on the present premises, and expect the crazy to come out. Do not try to reconcile, because she is a serial cheater and is only upset because she got caught. Do not go back to the apartment, make arrangements to send friends and family to get your stuff. You have a lease? See if the landlord will remove you and let it be her problem and go live with friends and family. If you have to go back to get your stuff, have a friend or family call her and ask her to leave the apartment and don't go alone. Take a posse with you. Hell, if you can pay an off-duty cop if you don't have a posse, then even better. 
Do not talk to her. Do not listen to her lies. Do not engage with her and do not give her closure. She'll try the, can we talk? The answer is no, nothing more. She's dead to you and act accordingly. The goal here is to don't just burn that bridge, but blow it up, then burn the pieces, then take the ashes and spread them over the nearest lake. This way, you can't, in a drunken, weakened moment, try and walk back across it. Carry a voice-activated recorder on you at all times, since I expect her to attempt to ambush you eventually, somewhere, somehow. Should she attempt to accuse you of anything in revenge, it may be your get-out-of-jail-free card. Next, get a male therapist for a few sessions to help you get over the violations of trust. Hit the gym or take up a martial art. No drinking alcohol since it's depressant, and that goes for drugs since it'll make you feel worse. You may not feel it right now, but this too shall pass. Lastly, share my channel with five friends. If you found this video of value, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work together to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Gab, or Getter. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best life by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, give them a thumbs up, a comment, and this support helps me make more content.